Hours of passionate debate in the state capitol today about drunk driving laws in Wisconsin. Project Drive Sober is our mission to look at the culture of drunk driving in the state and create change. Shannon Sims is in Madison with more. Everyone agrees the impact of drunk driving is devastating. The question is, how do we solve the problem? when the driver decided to get behind the wheel. In a packed hearing room, it didn't take long for state lawmakers to be visually shaken by the pain of one mother. It takes a lot of bravery to come here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The details of the crashes all different. On June 10th, I was sentenced to life without my oldest son. When he hit my son's truck, it broke into and exploded on impact. The kids were yelling. Daddy, daddy. But one common thread now links these victims. The drivers behind the wheel all decided to drive impaired. For many of the offenders, it was their first OWI offense. We're all potential victims on the road out there, people. On any given day, you, I, or our family members can be killed by a driver who's decided to get behind the wheel after drinking. Representative Jim Ott and Senator Alberta Darling presented a package of bills. One would make a first OWI offense a misdemeanor. Another would require a mandatory minimum of five years for anyone who kills someone in an OWI crash. Some on the committee questioned the bill's estimated price tag. We know that many of these bills are great in spirit. We know that it's going to be a great burden on the taxpayers at the end of the day. Fiscal reports show criminalizing a first OWI conviction could cost $7.1 million the first year and require an additional 42 full-time assistant DAs. We shouldn't even be talking about money. We should talk about saving people's lives. The families who attended today's hearing hope their pleas will do more than pull on the heartstrings of lawmakers, but will actually move them to strengthen the laws in order to protect others. You gave the right what were we, the 48th state to make concealed carry to protect ourselves? When are we going to be the 50th state that you can protect us on our road roads from drunk drivers and impaired drivers? To learn more about the bills and voice your opinion to lawmakers, we have a link on our website under Project Drive Sober. Reporting in Madison, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4.